the uh, function module first and the function module as you all know we can type the s37 transaction and go there or we can go to the tools we we'll also can browse it and this will have this uh, back workbench development in the development we have the function builder so double click on the function builder and then go for zba so that, that way also we can do other than the s37 since we already created a function group i'll make use of the same function group and go for scan create here there is already a function group yeah. now let me just see the uh, fields in the scar table and we'll make use of them here now let me open in another screen let me open the scar table So this is an SCAT So we'll also add the exception. So the first input field will be carried. So we'd like to get this as carried. So we'll take this carried and this carry is the structure. Now, uh, what we'll do is like we'll go ahead with this part and uh, I'll go for the field as carry. Right? S underscore care underscore ID. Then export, we don't have tables, we'll use the tables. In the tables, we'll use it can like type will not act, will not be accepted so this is s can then source code will be select star from s can into table it and it s can Where carried equal to carried. The carried that we are writing here is the carried that we have mentioned here. If let's say if you have mentioned this as p carried, you can give any name that you want. You want it's your choice. If you give it as p carried, here also you have to add this as p carried. I'm sorry. Table IT SCAR. No, I give it as IT CAR. And the same thing I wrote here. IT CAR. Internal table name can be anything, right? So you can define whatever you want. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So we have this is this is what we have. Uh, select start from the SCAR into table IT CAR. Where? Uh, okay. This is it. Now we can just save it, syntax check, activate and we can execute it. Once we execute it, you will get this uh, option here. Okay, I will give it as AA. 
flight A execute and we have got one entry for A. That's this one. This is the airline details. That's the airline details that we have. So now we can consume this into our program and then make use of that the same way we have done in the previous one. So let's now consume it. No, no, no. Interactive report is completely different. Interactive report is to go from first screen to second screen, second screen to third screen. That's different. This is different. So this is what we have and we can make use of this and we can also add the exceptions as well. So let me add the exceptions here. Exception is like say something like a exe, the name is exe and the exception 1. So what we can do is we can when we when write maintain this exe exception, we will have this exception. So we'll, we'll, we can write something like if there is no data it needs to raise the raise some message we can do that so for that what we have to do is we have to go ahead and write this exception uh, let's say we don't have the data okay, let's say there's no data if si if if sai sabarsi is not equal to zero if sai sabarsi not equal to zero means sai sabarsi value will become zero when it when the previous previous uh, command is successful Okay, so previous command is successful. Okay, so what do I mean by that? If there is a select statement, if the select statement is successful, size of the value will become zero. If it's not successful, it, it can it cannot be zero. So we will write this as we will write this as raise exception raise exception and the exception name was exe raise exception exe exe okay so exceptions we are maintaining it we are maintaining it in the exceptions here and exe we are writing it here okay so once we do this once we do this complete this we can save and activate just in case if there is no data for a particular uh, uh, command it will it will it will raise that exception and how do we handle that exception in the in our program is what we'll see just need to write raise exe so we have to write raise exe so when when this will come when the sat, when the condition is satisfied what is the condition that we are writing that if it is not equal to zero means s is not equal to zero then raise exception is what we tell how do we handle this exception in the program we'll see that but this is how we'll we'll maintain the exceptions here so if you want to maintain the exceptions we'll like we'll raise the exceptions here so now this is how we are doing it and then once we activate execute it it properly works a okay. There's no issue and then let's let's see how to handle this from our program so we have to call this from the program so this is our function model let's call this from the program you can click on our operator here go to this you said p a underscore s cap Now 
now here we'll go for uh, data we need to de de define internal table so i'm giving give it as it underscore there i give just it uh, i gave it as it uh, it can so i didn't give underscore so i'll go for s can types and table of s can and the internal table uh, is required and uh, work area is also required because we have to write the loop here and select statement is already written there so we don't have to write it we have to give it declare parameters p underscore carry for type type carried or do we have this carried um, we need to define something like s underscore care underscore id So once this is done, we'll go ahead and call this uh, pattern and uh, give that function model ZBE underscore scan. Here we need to give this as P underscore carry and the output would be it underscore s cap that is how we declare it right so and exceptions will have this will uncomment this exception and will also uncomment this exe so when when exe raises size of rc value will become one so we need to write here if size of rc equal to one so let me let me be very specific for this so this will be equal to one equal to one. when size of rc becomes one when this exception is raised, then you have to give message message e uh, or say i or let's say about zero zero one of zba underscore msg size of rc is a system field size of rc is a system field and this system field uh, is something which will define the status of the previous message so let's say the above just before that just before checking the size of rc uh, what is the statement uh, for that statement is it successful or not successful all these things will be defined in the size of rc so we have this one as no data For this selection, save it and activate. Okay, so uh, let me repeat again. Size of our as we discussed, it's a system field. Any field which starts with sy hyphen is a system field. Now, what are system fields? We neither have to declare the declare the field or nor we have to assign the values neither we have to define the field or nor we, we, need, we need to assign the value we just have to uh, you just have to you know we make use of that so when size of rc will automatically become one when this exception in the 14th is raised why it will become one because system automatically decide that it is one here yeah. so size of rc value will become one when the exception exe is raised so let me give AA 
we have the data for that okay we didn't write the loop statement loop statement can be written inside the function model or outside the function model so let me go for loop at it underscore scan Carry. We need to write the field names here. Hyphen that field names. Car name. Currency code URL. You have to type control y if you want to select multiple fields from the table or whatever it might be you have to give control y so control y will actually get that So we have got this. Let me sh now show you the exception part. Let me give here something like JJ. JJ, there is no value at all. So if I execute it, it gives me a pop up no data for this selection. And how did we raise this exception? Uh, we raised this exception because we have written that in the exceptions of the function module. 